everyone, it is Friday the 1st of September. I'm starting this vlog a lot later than I usually would. It's half eight. <sighs> Stressful morning already. Amelia woke up with loads of energy and I thought I'll take her on a walk early and then we this like late morning we can, you know, sit down, play with Play-Doh and play some board games and things like that for the rest of the day. Um, nope. <laughs> she won't wear any leggings. So I can't really take her outside because she won't wear leggings or tights. And she's obsessed with this tutu which she's wearing. She's put a long sleeve top on, which is progress, but she won't put leggings on. So I can't take her outside because we're now transitioning into autumn. It's colder. She wants to go out in shorts, but... So it looks like it's going to be a day inside again, which is great because I would quite like to go for a walk, to be honest. Like, I really want to go for a walk. I really want to get out. I really want to do something, but I can't because... And that's the issue with when they're this age is that when they're a baby, you just bundle them up, stick them in the pram and off you go. You can't do that with a five-year-old because they have to walk themselves. So... You have to get them to put their clothes on and like get out the house and it's so hard to do another day inside great which we've done for the past like blooming six weeks of her being on the summer holidays we've stayed inside i can't wait for her to go back to school next week because then i'll actually be able to go for a walk in the morning when i come back just getting myself into a routine when she's back at school she's just very sensitive to like clothes and I had that when I was younger and my family constantly reminds me that I was like that when I was younger. It's very difficult to deal with. Pretty sure she's autistic. Like I just know. Like I spend every day with her. I know she's autistic. Um so she has skin sensitivity which I get because I have that too. I still have that now. I've had that my entire life. It's awful. But I'm at, a, I'm at a loss. If anybody knows of any places that sell like super, super soft um, leggings or tops or anything, then please, please let me know because honestly, it's a daily struggle trying to get her into clothes. It's, I just, I wanna give up. Do you know what I mean? Like, I literally will spend hours, and I mean hours, trying to get her into appropriate clothing for all events. But she just will not wear it. She's going to a party tomorrow, and that's going to be blooming difficult to get out of the house. We might not even make it out of the house. Because she's a pain in the bum with... Um, God, my lips are really yucky today. I'm going to have to put some lip balm on. Ugh, that's better don't look as crusty now <laughs> um yeah every day is a struggle every time she goes to her dad's she's going to her dad's on sunday bearing in mind i've got to be her dad's picking her up at 10 i've got to get from around newark to work sop and get myself all sorted like makeup everything equipment in the car in like i've got to get there at 11 so it's going to be difficult getting her in clothes to go to her dad's. Like, I'm not looking forward to it at all. This is a, this is my daily parent struggle, which is getting her dressed and ready for the day. It's so difficult. Any advice would be great. <laughs> Just, I'm at a loss at the moment with it. And obviously it's difficult for me because my parents both work full time and yes, they're around and yes, they help when they can, but day to day, it's me that's dealing with it. Because also my parents are her grandparents, so they let her get away with a lot more, <laughs> to be honest. They're not as strict, which is fine because, you know, grandparents aren't supposed to be, grandparents are supposed to be. I know that my grandparents would always spoil us with stuff and I mean they were strict at times but they would spoil us all the time um, 
so yeah and my great grandma Barbara she spoils Amelia she's always knitting her stuff and like you know making a lemon drizzle cake when she goes over and stuff because she knows it's her favourite so I know it's grandparents job to make a fuss of children but when you live with their grandparents that can get a little bit tricky <laughs> but I thank God for my brother Peter because he's very helpful very helpful he's a massive like obviously she has a dad but Peter's like a massive father figure here which is I know sounds a bit weird but he really does take care of her and he understands her and he also doesn't take any shit <laughs> and he will stick up for me a lot with things and help because he knows how difficult she can be because he's been there for like full-on arguments because there have been times where he's been with me and my parents have come in and been like what's all this about or what's going on blah 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 and Peter will go no 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 it's not Emily's fault like this is what happened which is nice that I have someone sort of on my team hello I'm downstairs now I'm sorry if you can hear um mecha builders in the background it's like Elmo Cookie Monster and Abby from Sesame Street it's very annoying probably my least favorite show that she watches honestly I hate it <laughs> but I have told her I've set a alarm for because she's quite relaxed at the moment so I've set an alarm for 10 30 to do play-doh and then we'll probably play some board games and do some maybe do some painting and things so yeah we'll do all that this afternoon just sat here right now with a cup of tea and I think I'm just going to read a tiny little bit of my book I ended up not reading any last night because I was editing and getting my vlog ready for to go up at 10 a.m today when you're watching no not when you're watching this you'll be watching this tomorrow <laughs> I'm filming it today you'll be watching it tomorrow <laughs> um but yeah so I was doing that so I didn't really get a chance to read so I'm gonna do a little bit of reading now just just relax a little bit after that chaotic morning that I just had very shiny always oh, super shiny oh I know I keep asking you guys to comment but please 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 let me know some skincare products down below that you really love I have quite sensitive skin um, I don't really get breakouts. I mean, I've got one here at the moment. I get breakouts sometimes. They're more sort of hormonal breakouts, if anything. But my skin's usually relatively clear. But any, like, anti-blemish skincare would be great anyway. But yeah, any products that you love. I just like my skin to feel hydrated and, yeah, I need eye cream as well. But I need a recommendation for a good eye cream, so please let me know those things down below. Um, but yeah, I'm going to read for a bit and then I'll catch up with you guys later. is so annoying does anybody else who wears glasses get that mark there on their nose it's even worse when you're wearing makeup and Nathan would always point it out to me that I'd be wearing makeup and I would um put my glasses on and then take them down and then he'd be like you've got that mark again <laughs> where your makeup's come off so I think when I go out in the future I need to take like a little like my sponge and like my sorry she's laughing at something my makeup sponge and my like powder with me i just realized with it being the first of september that it is my birthday month this month it is jade's birthday month this month i've got we've got a lot of birthdays this month if i've forgotten anyone in the family then i do apologize but it's my cousin matt's birthday this month it's Adelie's birthday this month. She's turning one, which is really exciting. 
Um, it's Matt's birthday this month, other Matt, two Matt's birthday this, this month, I've just realised. So my cousin Matt and then my cousin Laura on the other side of the family, it's her husband Matt's birthday. I think his is on the 28th and mine's on the 27th, I'm pretty sure. I always remember that every year. I think that's everybody. I might have forgotten someone. I'm sorry if I have. I don't think I have. No. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Birthday month this month. Very exciting. And I'm obviously, I'm super excited for the end of the month. A, it's my birthday. But B, on the 30th, me and Jade are going to celebrate our birthdays together. And we're going to go to, I think we're going to go to the mailbox in Lincoln, which I haven't been to in forever. I need to book that, actually. I need to book a table. But we haven't been there forever, so very excited about that. Um, we used to go there all the time, like after college or like at weekends or whatever. So quite nice to go back. I'm excited. Yes, yeah, so we're going to do that. Obviously, I'm going to go to the works and Waterstones. I love Waterstones. Waterstones is expensive, but I love going in there. Oh, my God. My dream place. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go there. We're going to go to Primark. I think HomeSense as well. It'll be, you know, if any of you watch Mark and Zoe, it'll be a that kind of day. Plus books <laughs> and I'll vlog that one will be a long one I know because I probably won't stop vlogging the whole time and with it being autumn now I actually when I can drive I want to do to go like it if I've done all the stuff I need to do in the week which I want to do then on one of the days when Amelia's at school I want to like put either go to a cafe a nice cafe and read a book or pop a picnic blanket in the car and go to a park and sit under a tree with a nice coffee and like some lunch and read a book. Basically, I want to go out places and read books. I love, 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 love sitting outside. I don't like sitting outside at home because I spend a lot of time at home, but going somewhere and sitting and reading a book, I just love. Like, honestly, my dream day would be going to go into a park sitting under a tree when it's autumnal so all the leaves are falling down and they're like orange having a picnic blanket being all like bundled up even having like a another cozy blanket I've actually got a pic I'd got a pumpkin blanket so I would take that with me and I'd like put my blanket over my legs and have like a nice jumper on and just be nice and cosy. Sat there with my book and my favourite food. Like, just like, yeah, I would love that. Like imagine being sat there with like a nice pumpkin spice latte. Um a nice toasty and then a nice like muffin basically a starbucks order <laughs> basically sat there with a starbucks order and just oh, it'd be so nice so so nice speaking of starbucks they actually released their pumpkin spice lattes yesterday um which is super 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 exciting i am just beyond excited for that that's all i was going to show you guys actually sorry i'm just looking on my other phone um look at these which i need to get let me find it i've taken loads of pictures with amelia which i will put up on my normal instagram so that if you're a viewer that doesn't that doesn't really know me then you won't see that but if you're a viewer that does know me i'll upload them on there in a sec but Look at that pumpkin, sorry, put it here. Focus, focus, focus. I don't know if it will, but there's a pumpkin cold cup just on the right hand side um, next to the mug. And I need to get that cold cup 100%. I'm gonna read out the drinks 
that they have this year. I don't know if any of them are different. I don't think they are. They might have added a few different ones, but I'm going to read them out. I mean, you could just go and look at the menu yourself, but I'll read it out. I've not got much to talk about today, so why not? Um, Pumpkin Cream Cold Brew. Now, I'm not really... Do you know what I might do this month? I might actually try all, all of the autumnal Starbucks drinks and, like, snacks and review them for you guys. If you care, you probably don't, but I want to do it anyway, it'll be fun. Um, salted maple and caramel cream cold brew. Ooh. Obviously, pumpkin spice latte. Salted maple and caramel latte. That actually might be quite nice. Iced pumpkin spice latte. Iced salted maple and caramel latte. Pumpkin spice frappuccino. There's loads of things. Let me actually go on the Starbucks app. Order, let's click nearest place to me, confirm, featured, love it, iced pumpkin spice latte, yeah, pumpkin spice cream frappuccino and then obviously you can get it with coffee if you want and then yeah that's all for the autumn stuff, oh featured food, let's see, A s'mores muffin, mm, good, yeah, good, good, good. Let's see. I don't want featured food actually. I want to go on bakery treats. This is this is the the one to look at. A, oh, banana caramel muffin. It says it's plant based, but oh, Jade, Jade, because <laughs> she's vegan now. I believe. I believe she's vegan. Banana caramel muffin plant-based we have to get that let's have a look what else that's pretty much it there's got cinnamon swirl but i don't really like their cinnamon swirl but one thing i will get if they've got it donuts because obviously on my birthday i'm getting a big ass donut because it's my birthday <laughs> um but I want to get the cinnamon scroll, I believe it's called. Because it's like cinnamon roll, but cinnamon scroll, it's so good. It's not like super sugary, which I love, but it's very autumnal. They might actually have some autumnal donuts, so I'm definitely going. My birthday could get very expensive. It's going to be so tempting to spend money. Because Lush have just released their autumnal Halloween stuff as well. But I will only get stuff from Lush if I really, really love it. I won't get it just because it's like a pumpkin. Me and Jade are obviously going to go into Lush because she wants to look at the Barbie stuff as well. I'm not massively into Barbie. I'm more of a Bratz girl myself, personally. My favourite Lush product, which they don't actually do anymore. They discontinued it a long time ago. Does anybody remember the Honey Bee Bath Ballistic Bath Bomb? That will forever be my fave. I mean, my new fave, I would say, is the turmeric latte one. God, guys, my phone's shaking. I think I need to eat something. Does anybody else get that when they get hungry or when they need to eat something? Their hands start shaking. I've got that. I might need to eat a biscuit in a second. <laughs> oh, dear. It's not like I haven't eaten. I have. Like, I had my breakfast, but yeah. 10.30 though, and that's around the time where I start to get a little bit peckish, so I will definitely eat something. Um, I'm going to hold my phone with two hands because my hand's shaking. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was amazing. And my new favourite is the turmeric latte one. I love that. It's very classic, very like autumnal scent kind of. It's nice. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get some Play-Doh stuff ready and get something to eat because I'm shaking. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's the evening. It's around uh, 8 o'clock now. Um, and I just started filming so that I could end the vlog. Um, you can probably tell I'm not feeling great. I mean, I look an absolute mess, but I'm not feeling great. I'm starting to struggle now. Um, 
but you know it's just it's gonna happen um but I don't want to go into it <clears throat> so yeah thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe and I will catch up with you guys tomorrow bye